Hey guys, my name is Adriana Luna. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. On today's video, I wanted to show you guys the type of makeup that I love to create whenever I have sponsorships with brands or also when I have like events to go or any family parties or anything like that. This is my go-to and seriously, it goes with everything in any kind of outfit you guys also you guys announced me if you guys are not following me on my instagram or if you haven't watched my previous video which you should i signed up to hopefully be the next sephora squad member you guys i i just seriously i i know i'm ready i have been ready for the longest you guys and you guys know my passion for beauty this will mean so much to me and it's so big if this becomes a reality, you guys, to be the next Sephora squad member. So, so I need all your help, you guys. And all I need is if you guys can take a little bit of time of your day, just a little bit, to do a testimonial. Leave me a testimonial. I will leave you the link down below. Letting Sephora squad know, like, hey, this is why you need Adriana, or this is why I watch her. Just letting them know why do you watch me, why do you come back and watch me, and everything like that. Have I made your day? have I taught you anything throughout this year? So I will leave a link down below for you guys, but for, but for now, let's jump onto this tutorial. I freaking look like a mess, you guys. So I'm gonna put my hair back, um, but I already did my brows. And for my brows, I used, I always like rotate my brow routine, so, but I, this is the products that I always use. So I am using the Brow Micro Filling Pen by Benefit Cosmetics and the shade that I am in, you guys, in Deep Brown. So Deep Brown is my color. And then I apply the NYX The Brow Glue. This thing really does work, you guys. I love this little thing. So I'm gonna try my best to use lots of drugstore products for you guys. I mean, I feel like all my stuff are drugstore, except for like a couple of stuff, you know? And then I have been test, oh my God, my hair. And also I had to be hydrating my lips. So I have been applying the Grande Lips Hydrating Plumper, you guys. I have this in like different colors. So this one isn't clear. Love this one a lot. But you don't feel that tingly sensation, so. So I'm going to start by hydrating my face. So I am going to be using this Rose Water Calming Face Toner by Herbal Dynamics, you guys. They have really awesome roses, you guys. And I love the fact that they are clean, non-toxic. It has green tea, aloe vera, witch hazel, and chamomile. It's really good for your skin, you guys. Make sure you guys check it out. And I think I have a discount code. I will leave you guys a link down below. And I'm going to be applying my Skin Tensi Face. I also have a discount for this, so... I just love to apply, like my skincare has to be more on the cleaner side. I love anything that's clean for my face. But this one, you guys, oh my goodness, it feels like a baby's butt. So freaking smooth. So I will leave you guys the link down below. And I just realized both of them are from Arizona, which is so dope. Both of them are from Arizona. So that makes me even more and more happy, you guys. So. Like I told you, I already did my brows. I hydrated. So moving on to the eyes, you guys. I am going to be applying this Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer. And look at that. I still have so much. I have been using it for a while now. And it lasts a long, long time. So I'm going to be applying that all over my lid. For my shadows, I love to keep it neutral whenever I'm going to be taking pictures for a brand or just to do a quick talk video or when I'm doing my hair and I already, you know, have my eyes ready. I love to do neutral. So I am, I, I've been using this palette, you guys. The uh, CoverGirl Full Spectrum So Saturated Palette. So that's the one that I've been using and it's busted because it just messed up on my freaking purse. So. So I'm just going to set the lids. I'm gonna take this shade right here and apply it all over my crease. And the brush that I'm using for that is obviously Morphe, the M513, you guys. Oh, you've seen the same brush. I'm just going to dip in this one right here and apply that on the crease. And I'm also applying it on my lid. And then with the same brush, girl, I am grabbing the darkest shade. This one, yeah, do that because it's really pigmented. Ooh, see, it's still pigmented. 
I could be using a different brush, but I'm already used to it. So winging it and bringing it in a little bit. Like pretend there's a triangle right there and you're trying to fill it on. And now I'm gonna take a concealer brush and just get a little bit sharp and precise. Guys, after this, I have to take some pictures for a brand, so it's the real deal. So now moving on to eyeliner, you guys know that I love my Revlon Color Stay Sharp Line. Look at that, it's beautiful. So just a small wing following that line that I did right now. Right here, I'm just gonna do a tiny liner not that much not so dramatic really thin so grabbing a smaller brush like this i'm going to be grabbing that second shadow and applying it under my lash line so now moving on to mascara i am using the Sophia's big bad lash mascara the lashes that I'm using are by Too Faced and Natural Blur. Moving on to face, my holy grail, this one by Makeup Forever, the Pore Minimizer, you guys. This one works like magic. You guys gotta try it, girl. You seriously gotta try it. So this one's more on the expensive side, but it works so good. I even wear it without makeup, so I like to press it around my nose area and on my pores, obviously because I have a lot of pores on my nose. It does help to minimize it. So whatever, whenever I'm not applying any foundation, I just do this, moisturize, and I am good to go. So for foundation, my ride or die foundation, you guys, my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. This thing is so good and it's so freaking affordable, you know? It doesn't break the bank. I am in color light, medium, you guys. Buff, wait. Yeah, I was reading a different language, so. And I have been using this brush by Revlon. It's their Kabuki brush. I forgot the name, but this brush works really good. I feel like it makes the foundation going so smooth. This is meant for their foundation, which is the Color Stay one. And I also use this foundation. It's like a light coverage. Be getting a tan. It looks a little bit lighter now. <gasps> nice. So I might have to switch up my color because it's looking a little light. For concealer, I am using the Maybelline 22 Fit Me. And I like to apply it in the inner corner and outer corner just to make that look really, um, like make my face look lifted. I'm going to set everything with my Airspun Loose Powder. So I am just patting the product and then I'm going to buff it. Now time to bronze and for that I'm using the Rimmel London Stay Matte Powder in Toffee. So right after this is when I apply my mascara on the bottom of my lashes because I'm already done with like my whole process. Now moving on to my lips you guys, I love using this Kirwise lip liner and this one is in color mauve i definitely need to sharpen it but i love the longevity i love the way that it makes my lips look and the color is so beautiful and then i fill in the rest the last thing i do is set my face and i am using the pore professional super setter spray you guys this one does really work by benefit all right you guys so i'm gonna be back i'm gonna do my hair and i will have a video maybe it's already up i'm not sure i really don't know what's going on but it's probably up already but i'm gonna do my hair and i'll be right back the final look you guys i already did my hair i use heat up curls so i will have a video but i uh, i've been loving doing that i don't know why i stopped for years but you guys my hair looks so voluminous it looks like i went to get a um a blowout i just freaking love it you guys but this is the type of makeup that i like to do whenever i have to take pictures for brands for sponsorships or anything like that or when i have to go out you know to a, an event a party or whatever i love to do this type of makeup sometimes i add a little bit of glitter on my lid but i just love this looks keeping everything nice and neutral it goes with anything like i get so many girls always ask me on Instagram like hey I have to go to quinceanera I have to go to a wedding what type of makeup do I put on with this dress girl once you go neutral like this anything I can wear black I'm wearing green right now girl 
anything anything so yes basically any outfit will look good with this makeup look you guys so thank you guys so much for watching please 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 don't forget to leave me your testimonials down below to be able to be a part of the sephora squad you guys i am going hard i am bugging everyone i am praying to everyone to all the gods to all the saints everything because your girl really wants this and i seriously feel like i do deserve this like i'm ready i've been ready for the longest girls you guys know that you guys know that for sure so thank you guys so much for watching i will leave all the information down below and please don't forget to send your testimonials in 